Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. I look tired and I look like a mess it's because I just arrived home and it's around 4 p.m. and I'm doing this video like this because today I tried the new concealer from Rebecca Stella and I haven't touched up my face at all today so that is why I'm starting this intro like this with this makeup so you can see how it's looking after many many hours but I tried the Rebecca Stella's new concealer and also I tried the new lipsticks from Kat Cosmetics matte lipstick that comes in this outside packaging and the lipstick bullet it's a lipstick bullet looks like this so I'm going to talk about these two we're going to take a look a closer look up and discuss how it works so if you're interested then please keep on watching So I'm going to take off my glasses and I haven't touched up at all. I did my lipstick but I didn't touch up uh, the concealer. So I'm going to take a mirror and on my eyes I do have uh, this palette from Raw Christie Beauty. That's my favorite. So this concealer didn't crease. Do, uh, the mascara did transform a little bit so I do have a little bit of fallout from the mascara but the concealer looks very beautiful. It doesn't look dry and it covered very nice. It didn't crease, it did, doesn't look cakey. I really like how the concealer looks. Now I apply this makeup uh, around 7 in the morning. I was finished with the makeup so let's just say 7 a.m. And it's 4 p.m. right now. So it's been, what can it be? Nine hours. So I've been having this makeup up for nine hours. And this concealer contains seven milliliters. Uh, and it comes in three shades. This is the lightest shade, shade number one. Looks like this. It does have like a medium coverage if you want full I think you can it's easy to build up so it has like medium full coverage it's very light weight and this applicator is very small which I think is very cute I mean I think it I feel like this is a very nice light concealer it's not too heavy but it covers very nicely and I like it. The only thing I have against, or not against, but the only thing that bothers me is that this comes only in three shades, light, medium, and deep. I think it would be nice if it has more shades because we have different undertones, we have different skin tones. This is very light. I would prefer something a little bit darker, but not actually go to the darkest, not actually go to the medium that I have. That one is too dark for me. This is too light. So I want something in between. So having only three shades, that's not enough. And I really like Rebecca Stella's products, lip liners and the lip product that she came out with. But so far the concealers are beautiful, amazing. I hope this is just the first three shades and that, they, and that they will release more. I really hope so. I really, really hope so. But yeah, I really like it. I think it's a very good concealer and I will put the information, the price down below the link so you can check it out. It's also very affordable. It's not too expensive. So it's, I think it's around $20 or 199 Swedish crowns and I'm not really sure, but I'm going to put the information down below. So I really like the concealer. Now let's go to Kaya Cosmetics lipsticks. The packaging, outside packaging looks like this and it, it's made in Italy. And it says Super Matte, Seri Super Matte Series. And this one is in shade No Drama. It says like this, uh, pearly pigmented lipstick with ec extreme matte finish. It provides consistency, emollients, and water resistant without a dragging application. The lipstick contains passion fruit seed oil, which offers nurturing and repairing properties. Looks matte, feels smooth. Now, let's just, I just bought the one shade because I wanted to try it out. Now, I uh, like the packaging. It feels like a metallic packaging. I like the shade. It has like a magnet. I don't know if you can hear it. And I, it doesn't, doesn't go off. Sometimes I realize the lipstick that I have this like, like a mag magnet, it actually easy comes off. But this one has a um, nice feeling to it. I really like it. 
and it says Kaya Cosmetics. I don't know if you can see it. I love the shade. This shade is here. Now I've been wearing this lipstick, guys, so you have to. And this is the swatch. I already swatched when I tried it this morning. This is a second application that I put like two hours ago. Now I did feel like I needed to reapply the lipstick. It's nice, it feels very soft and smooth on the lips. It has a nice light feeling, but I also felt like I do have it on my lips. I feel like I have lipstick on my lips and what ma that makes me do is uh, makes me lick my lips, li uh, makes me bite my lips, makes me, I don't know, some, somehow I ate it up <laughs> on my lips. I when I can feel the lipstick on my lips, it doesn't really bother me, bother me, but it kind of bothers me a little bit because I'm doing like this on my to my lips all the day, all day. But I really, really like the feeling of the lipstick and I um, really want to check out the other shades. Now I'm going to reapply it and I do like to, I, it's very light, so I do prefer have it with a lip liner. Now you can see the line here. Um, that line is there because this is very light lips. It doesn't really make it so uh, visibly visible when it kind of starts to fade out, which fade out, which I really, really like. Now I do like this shade. I want to try the other shades. I didn't bought the other shade because I was kind of scared that it's going to be heavy or too matte, it's going to dry my lips and I don't want to be stuck with lipsticks that I don't use because I don't like matte lipsticks that dry out my lips. I really like the lipstick. It says it's waterproof. I don't know really if I agree if it's waterproof or not. I mean, I ate it up, so <laughs> we'll see. I will definitely try it out a little bit more. This is my first impression, my first day using the product. Oh my God, it looks so oily. Wait, I need to powder, powder my face. I'll use a little bit of LA Girl powder too. I don't really like using this puff. It gets dirty, but I do wash it. My makeup been on the whole day and I really like it. And I've been in rain. I've been out in rain too, and it's still looking pretty good i feel like i've been uh, wearing the physician's formula the healthy foundation and under it i have the um, the hourglass primer so which is my favorite but yeah guys that was everything uh this is a very short video where i review just two products but i feel like I really like these kind of videos, especially if you're out to just see how these products works. You don't need to listen to me rambling about other products. Uh, so yeah, please let, like this video if you do. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I hope I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.